Hello, all JoinerCAD fans. In this video, I will show you how to use JoinerCAD's skeleton design features to design a simple cabinet very quickly. This will save you a lot of time in your work. Using the standard Fusion 360 functions, a rectangular sketch is created with the dimensions shown on the screen. Using the extrude command, it is stretched and a rectangular cuboid, i.e. a three-dimensional component, is created. This component will be used as an outer gauge to create the cabinet using JoinerCAD skeleton design commands. The purpose of these commands is to use flat surfaces to create the panels used in the furniture. Go to the JoinerCAD tab and call the dress up command. The command automatically collects all the sides that can be covered with panels. Sometimes not all panels are needed, so now the front panel is removed and the existing panels are renamed. The thickness of the back is also changed from the standard 18mm to 3mm. Using the visibility control command, the rectangular cuboid that was created before is removed. This will facilitate further work and this volume will no longer be needed. Using the miter command, all four sides are joined together at 45 degrees. The miter command allows you to join both perpendicular panels and angled panels. Before moving on, just a reminder that the detailed use of the Joiner CAD skeleton design commands is presented in our next video, which you can watch by clicking on the link now shown on the screen. Moving on, using the standard Fusion 360 commands, we first isolate the back and then use the press pull command to reduce the back by 10 millimeters on all edges. As you can see, JoinerCAD does not restrict the choice of design tools. It is possible to design with both standard Fusion 360 and JoinerCAD tools to get the geometry you want. Once the modifications are complete, the visibility of the remaining parts is restored. Then the JoinerCAD trim command is used to insert the back into the body panels, that is, Cutouts are made to allow the back to be inserted and aligned with the body panels. The Shelves and Dividers command is then used to create a shelf by selecting two parallel surfaces and inserting a single shelf with a thickness of 18 millimeters between them. This makes it quick and easy to design a piece of furniture whose geometry can be created in any way, whether you are designing with the Fusion 360 tools or with the JoinerCAD tools. Thank you for your attention.